Hey guys, it's Ravenhawk6910 reporting once again with an impromptu video going over some of my personal highlights in the new MTH Ready to Run catalog. Now, I should say right out of the gate that this is not a catalog I typically look at because I don't tend to buy stuff out of it because this is the catalog where you typically see starter sets and lower end items, mostly oriented towards the Rail King side of the hobby. But that's okay. I mean, it is great for some people. It's just not my personal thing to look at. But I did decide to look through it, and I'm kind of glad I did because I found some very interesting items in here this year. I'm going to start off with the Norfolk Southern ES44AC Imperial Diesel Caboose sets. Now, these are nothing new. Uh, MTH has been offering the uh, Imperial ES44 for quite a while now. But this is the first time I think they've done a Norfolk Southern one in a good while, and they have definitely not done these paint schemes. Now, I should note that these paint schemes are not correct to the prototypes. The Eco scheme, for example, uh, only appears on the GP33 Ecos, and the Horse Bonnet schemes only appear on the AC44 C6Ms. However, it's nice to see MTH doing 027 adaptations of those paint schemes so that if you did want to get those schemes, you certainly had the chance to do it. And I must say, the Eco scheme on an ES44 actually doesn't look that bad. When I first looked at it, I thought, huh, that's cool. Now, granted, I will not be purchasing any of these because I don't model 027, it's just not my thing. However, I did want to point it out because they were interesting adaptations, and I do like the uh, cabooses for all of these sets too. They're very nice. Next comes the big thing, and this is something I honestly did not see coming. MTH is actually going to be offering a Rail King scale Canadian Pacific holiday train. Now, this is not going to be a set. There's two individual items here. You've got the Canadian Pacific Rail King Scale Dash 8, and then you've got the Canadian Pacific uh, four pack with the LED lights on it for the holiday train. And those are going to be two individual sale items. These are not going to be a set, which kind of sucks because you think that would knock the price down a little bit, but whatever, it's MTH, and that's just how they decided to do it. Now, some people aren't going to be happy with this because the real CP9815 is an AC4400 CW and not a Dash 8. However, the models do look very similar to one another, so quite honestly, I could probably look past that. And if it's going to have all of this neat LED light features on it, just like on the real holiday train... Quite honestly, that's going to bypass anything else that I've that I could see would be quote wrong with this, and the fact that you're not going to get all of the details that you're going to get on a Premier Line version of the 9815. Now that doesn't mean they're not going to do a Premier Line 9815. It certainly would be nice if they did, but we're just going to have to wait and see till the 2017 Volume Two catalog drops later this year to find out about that. However, this is what we've got so far. And like I said, I wasn't expecting it. It's really a nice surprise to see the holiday train uh, to be offered. And I might actually order this because this is a really nice train and I do like it quite a bit. Now, the last thing I wanted to point out was the new MTH York, Pennsylvania box car that they've just released the photo of today. And as a lot of you know, MTH always goes to the York train shows in York, Pennsylvania, the big TCA show up there. And when they do, they always offer a car for sale. And each car has the cover of that particular catalog that's being released at the time on the side of it. So in this case, we have the 2017 Volume 2 catalog on the side. And judging by what's on the cover, I'm in trouble. More horse bonnets, more AC44 C6Ms, this time black ones. So if they're doing, I believe that's the 4004 on the cover, which I believe is one of the blue ones to signify it was rebuilt at Juniata. They're most likely going to do the Tuscan version as well for the ones that were rebuilt at Roanoke. So I might end up ordering another AC4400 C6M. So yeah, very nice stuff that's dropped today from MTH. 
And that's really all I had to say. I just wanted to get the news out to you guys and see what you guys thought about all of this. So I will let you guys go for now. This is Ravenhawk6910 signing off. <laughs>